You may begin. The velocity of is b. The torque of is c. Newton. Okay, three laws. Gravity. The apple. But that didn't really happen, did it? Just a story. I guess fruit usually plays a pretty small role in scientific breakthroughs. Okay, third law. Gravity. The apple. The apple I had in the cafe the other day was mealy enough to be the one that hit Newton. How many apples did it take? One, two, three. How many apples does it take for a man to discover gravity? Come on, I know this. I studied this. No, come on, concentrate. Oh, I have to get the book for law. Oh, they only take cash, which means I have to finish the test, get out of here, walk all the way to the bank, go to the ATM. Uh, no, wait, too long. I have to finish the test, get out of here, walk back all the way to the apartment, try to get Ted to lend me the money. So I got the money. I have to walk back to campus, buy the book, finish the homework. And all this in time for my next class. Concentrate. Hmm. I wonder if she knows the answer. What's the magnitude of Sirius? Sirius, Sirius, the magnitude. Which one's Sirius? There's so many stars. Billions and billions. Clusters and clusters are forming on and on. Putting more of those shiny things in the sky. Sirius? I, I don't know. I can't even see it in the sky. You, you just can in New York. There's so many lights. As many as there are stars, for that matter. Street after street, there are cars. New York is like Dean Moriarty, driving down the road like a frantic madman, dragging you along. But you want to be dragged along, yes. It makes you feel so alive. There's like nothing else. Time's up.